when you're doing your Revit drawings, uh, let's go and can I open this sheet? Okay. So when you're doing your Revit drawings or any drawing that you started with, um, whether it was in paper or AutoCAD and now in Revit, but what's always is going to happen when you're doing your sheets is you are going to have sheet notes. And sheet notes are kind of the go-between between documentation and construction. It's kind of telling the contractor what you need to do, you know, in so many words, you know, you kind of give them a, a kind of a, a, a guide or some type of, a, of a way to convey information to the contractor. And number one is uh, one inch cold water down to parking, right? This is on the fourth level. Um, so it's just information that you use on your sheets. And this is number two. And number two is, um, so we can go back up to see what number two is. One is cold water down to water heater. And so the good thing about this filter by sheet is that you can use this particular sheet note schedule for all of your sheets for your sheet number and let's just let's, let's do that I'm gonna I'm gonna create another I'm gonna put another I'm gonna put a view on another um, sheet uh, let's go p104s double click that and go up to P L four S. Let's just bring it in. And I'm gonna go back to the view and let's see what have we got. Do we have anything? Okay. So so the good thing about this is that I know that I can put my notes on and because it's filter by sheet uh, filter by sheet then I know that my notes are only gonna uh, read that particular floor plan. <laughs> but the note is gonna be on the sheet. The notes, the schedule is gonna be on the sheets. The notes are going to be on the view. For, for Like for example, uh, you go to annotate and you can you can bring it one, two, three, four. Um, I'm gonna delete these three and put this one in and call this P104S. And um, each one of the notes can be different. I'm gonna copy this three times and change the name. Uh, the two, let's change this one to three, and I'm gonna change this one to four. And all of these have the same sheet number associated with, but I'm gonna just kinda go in and put some different text in here. Um, three, let's go V and four, and let's go, I'll put four in here. Okay, so after putting your notes, or you can start, you, of course you're gonna start out, it can be A, B, C, or D, or however you wanna change it, however you wanna represent your notes, you can do that. So once you've done that, you go to your sheet. Um, I think I can click, right click here and go to my sheet. I can open sheet here, and these are my four notes. And what I want to do is drag over my sheet note schedule. And what it should do is give me those four. Give me those one, two, three, four. And it's going to tell me what the note is and what the sheet number is. And you can, based on your office standard, you can change this however you want. One, two, three. There's one. There's another uh, schedule that has the notes down in the body of the, the sheet. 
or on the view. And here's the third one that has our notes on them. Okay. So yeah, you can um, you can filter by sheet, and it will populate your sheet notes uh, based on the fact that you've filtered by sheet, and the rest is you can is your office standard. Okay. All right, guys. I hope that helped, and I will talk to you guys later.